before the earthquake hit, the first thing I did was jump on top of my daughter. Seconds later, that's when all the shaking started. And I really thought I was gonna die that day. The Northridge earthquake, 25 years later, still among the costliest natural disasters in U.S. history. In less than 30 seconds, 40,000 buildings damaged, 20,000 people forced from their homes. We wanted to get out and we couldn't get out. We were trapped in the apartment. We were really scared. We were really scared. And then somebody came and pushed the door and we were able to get out. I had not seen that level of devastation. Mario Rueda is now the chief of the San Marino Fire Department in LA County. 25 years ago, he was a firefighter in Los Angeles. The uh, collapse structures really didn't, um, you couldn't tell they were collapsed sometimes until you got close. Although there was one parking structure in Northridge that was a parking lot, reinforced concrete, and it looked like it had just been literally crushed by some giant being, uh, unrecognizable. That unrecognizable parking structure was on the campus of Cal State Northridge, about a mile from the epicenter. The earthquake damaged every one of the 107 buildings on campus, including a total collapse of the parking structure. Today, a small garden of twisted rebar and buckled concrete from that parking structure is one of the few visual reminders of just how bad it was 25 years ago. Oh my God, the Kaiser building was, it was like a piece of cake. The whole thing was missing. That's what I remember. We lost um, major highways and roads. We had building collapses. We had people who were trapped. We had fires. We had loss of water and power. All of the things that we talk about being prepared for. The past 25 years have seen dramatic improvements in building codes and advances in engineering when it comes to earthquake preparedness. But the one thing that hasn't changed is the need for every person living in an earthquake prone area to have a plan. The science is extremely different than it was 25 years ago. We understand much more about how earthquakes happen. Unfortunately, one of the things we learned is they really are very random and prediction is not going to be a solution for us. People need to know that, uh, as we saw in a North, Northridge earthquake, you're going to be out of water for some time. You're not going to be able to have some food for some time. You may not be able to get back into your house because of after.